just vertical, real vertical presentation of this little lure here called the bird. This one's a floating bird. It's on a 3 32nd ounce jig head. And what this does, go ahead and 17 and a half, nice one, nice fat one. What this does on the bottom, this one's all torn up, but I'll grab another one. As it sits with its head down and that floating soft plastic tail waggles up off the bottom. Which is really a great presentation for, you know, that appeals to their lateral line. See how that's floating up like that? That lifting up off the bottom, that, you know, very, you know, like a, like a mad tom or, or a sculpin or something wiggling its tail trying to get under a rock. Um, you know, the, the bird really gets their attention on that level. All right, first one of the day. On the bird. He was, I can see the rock up there and that told me the ledge, ledge rock that would extend out into some deeper water. He's really pulling. Felt a real nice tap, real nice crisp tap on my little floating bird worm. I got this one on the, the 30 degree rig. Let's take a look at that fish. Ah, oh, he's a beauty. Wow. This is really cool. Shows what he's been eating. Bunch of minnows. He's got a whole mouthful of men there. And the bird is certainly a minnow profile, so he's up in there eating the bait fish. That's a great hook. Oh, is he pretty. He thumped it. He just went. You know, a lot of times you have to just match the, the motion of baits, not so much what they look like, but how they act. And besides, if you're flipping the bird, you pretty much know what sort of reaction you're going to get. Floating bird presents vertically on either the 332nd ounce or 1 8 ounce head. For a less snag prone presentation, rig on the 1 8 ounce dragon head. Confidence Baits, when nothing else works. Confidencebaits.net